that's what I'm wearing now. And I'm actually grateful to God he actually did not collect it because no, the slippers is useful. Pay it, son. Like maybe if you're the type that used to argue and fight and this thing on this very special day, don't say anything. Just be gentle, just be kind, just be honest, just give him peace of mind. Then after that, like this, banker, just start your way. With. Ah, and to buy me here on this, I'm good if you come. Show him that. Mm -hmm. Then the next part again, you become a gentle again okay? because relationship we know gets bad. It's boring. So let me actually know. In the comment section, the highest thing you've given a guy, um, how many years you've actually known each other before you give to me a guy? What was the gift inspiration? Why did you give him? And then, are you guys still together? Or do you actually regret gifting him that gift? Let me know in the comment section below. It doesn't have to be your better half, your boyfriend, or your girlfriend. Before you, sorry, today we are talking about boyfriend. Yeah, we are talking about gifts for the male. Next one, what you be for the um, female? So it doesn't have to be like your better half, your boyfriend, your husband, your ex, your anything, more like anybody you actually have kind of mutual kidney, <laughs> mutual anything with before you actually give them. Um, you can actually give um your neighbor a friend, like a male friend that. You know there are some friends that are actually even worth more than boyfriends. They are so sort of like the way they will advise you, the way they will encourage you, the way they will motivate you. Anyways, if your boyfriend does not motivate you, if your husband does not motivate you, I don't even know what you are doing with him in the first place. But we all know that different people are in relationship for different reasons. You know, it could be for monetary value, it could be for bed value, it could be for food value and everything. So aside that you might actually prefer um your normal male friend. And even your so called boyfriend, so depending, anyways, this video will actually be about that. So, guys, in today's video, I'll tell you about 26 gifts ideas for him. And I've told you it doesn't have to be your special, special person, it will just be somebody you just adore, somebody you just admire, not under person's manual, somebody that actually makes life easy for you, somebody that is actually meaningful to your life, somebody that has actually contributed positively to your life, somebody that. As in one way or the other, maybe you've met them in your journey of life that has really meant a lot. As long as a person is doing something like it's very, 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 it's not something common, that kind of thing. That's why I said it could even be your class web. If your class web is that type that used to cover for you, maybe when you're absent of your, from class, it deserves it. The person could be your PA, it could be your manager. So it doesn't have to be your boyfriend or your husband. Val is love, it doesn't have to be love normal love so, so. it's from people that actually deserve it deserve the love again anyways and if you're actually giving your boyfriend and as i as i have said you can give this gift to different categories of people but even at that even at that don't over gift your gift you understand what i'm saying come on lot table don't over gift your gift like gift them according to what they deserve not like because uh, somebody just happy to um, how can i give maybe someone just happy to do the simple stand then you're buying car for the person i thought that's stand i thought that's stand i thought that's stand well you can't know but i thought that's stand like you just gift accordingly because sometimes some people some guys are actually very cool till when you start gifting them things and then they'll start feeling like you know that kind of thing so just like gift according to what they've given you and same goes to boyfriend same goes to relationship you just met a guy like two weeks ago and then you're buying him the whole of the Niger so for relationship we have different types of um guys in a relationship there are some guys that are your boyfriend they are your motivator they're just like your husband your father your everything like all you want like they motivate you they encourage you like when you want to do something, they will just ginger you. That kind of guys, that one is division one. So I'll be dividing the gifts. Mm -hmm. You know this type of guys, they deserve the whole world. Like they make meaning to your life. They make your life meaningful. In fact, without them, you just be like, ah, ah, what are you without them? Though so, we are nothing without God. But they, really, there are some guys that when they come into your life, like even you say you go feel them. That one is division one. Then we have some. They don't have anything contributing to your life rather than 
warming the bed just so that it's not be like just to warm the bed that one is category two or division two division three this ones they are never they are neither division one or division two they are just there so that it's not be like you are single so that when they say oh single girls in the house you be like ah, at least may have somebody uh -huh. you know that it's not everybody that is in a relationship that is in a relationship just a relationship you just be there so that you not be bored so that you not perceive other people are going out with their boyfriend, other people are going out on a date, and you don't have at least one guy. And him, all those type of those on a category TV, a bit deficient TV. I hope you understand what I'm trying to analyze. So, don't go and carry gifts for category one, I'm going to give it to category TV. You get those ones are just random. Mm -hmm. So, before no further ado, cut up the shadow ado, let's go right, get right into it. So, um, after I've divided those type of guys into TV divisions, I'm going to divide those gifts too into TV divisions. Then, after saying all of it, we'll now analyze each of it. If you've not watched it up to here, please make sure you click that subscribe button now, like right now. So, I'll be classifying these gifts into likes, needs, and wants. For guys, I'm not talking about what girls, so for guys and even for most people, before you actually gift somebody something, though people used to say, um, is the heart that matters, is the intentions that matters, where it's not about whatever you give, whatever you give actually matters. See, yeah, there's a difference between gifting me something you, 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 you saw or you just get, shall you gift me something, I will appreciate it though, but. There's actually a difference between you gifting me something just because you saw it just like normal gifts and then somebody actually gifting me what i need no matter the amount of whatever he gave me do you think i can just be just like somebody like me now you come to my house and you feel like ah this guy you no know, get tv let me buy tv for you if you like buy tv or tv 50k i appreciate it though thank you very much but without actually giving me that money then tv is in the house then somebody else now came I gave me a new set of pots, five fine ones to do video for my food channel. <laughs> the way I'm gonna appreciate that person, I don't even care even if the pot is 10,000 naira, even if it is 5,000 naira. So that's the difference, that's what I'm trying to say because me, I don't watch TVs. The TV, if I have TVs, just to design the house, to make the house fine. You see the way my parlor is echoing, there's nothing there. So I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. So you gifting somebody, I think it's not about how expensive the thing is. It's about how functional the gift is going to be for the person. Like a food vlogger, you're yeah, dashing the person. To, 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 like, it should be something like they need. No, I'm not saying that they will not appreciate that gift you give them. But it will just be just like you buying TV for me. It will just be there. I will not use it. No, it, I will use it. I will just sell it and collect the money back. Because I don't need them. Maybe something like kitchen wares, anything. Hey, hey, that kind of thing. You understand what I'm trying to say? So before you actually gift um someone something, like you try to study their likes, their wants, and their needs. So now let's talk about likes. Do you talk about likes first? So let's talk about likes. For likes, generally, all guys like PS5. All guys like game station. And then all guys like wine or alcohol. Though for that PS5, it's just like a small faction of them that doesn't like it. But PS5, like saying don't cast. But as you can see, that PS5 is very costly, right? It's very, very, very expensive. Like, you understand? So, um, for most people, for most guys, they actually like PS5. Just a fashion of guy that will say he doesn't like PS5. Um, they actually like game station and wine. Though not all guys actually drink, but they have like maybe favorite um drink. Favorite, maybe alcohol, like maybe when they're stressed, something they can just drink to that, just relax, something like that. You can get it from them. And don't forget, I actually divided these guys into three different categories. So, something like PS5, if you'll be getting it for somebody, you know, category one of our division of a good guy is all these ones like they, they are just like your father, your mother, they everything. Even at that, PS5 is very expensive, it's only like 250 or something. If we give that kind of three to that person. So I've like, been like the person has spent like five million naira on your head. Are you are you get are you girls listening to me? Because some of you you just meet one guy because he, he puts your leg, hang it up, you can't be buying expensive gifts for him. After they will break out and start crying. Don't miss if I made this type of mistake before. I will not lie. And that's why I am making this video. 
know something like PS5, if you want to get it for a guy, that means basically has spent a whole lot of money on you. He has spent time. See, there's a difference between when a guy spent time for you and a guy spent money for you. I'm actually going to relationship now. There are two different things. For me, I actually wish to appreciate guys' time. There are two different things. If you want to like make it to be hmm, spend time and money. Not like come and spend time for me. I then you know say with all my time I kill me, shall go one bank in your bend time and money jarry. Mm -hmm. So if that person that is your father, your mother and your children and your everything has not spent for you before or has not even spent up to maybe twenty K or something, don't buy PS5. He doesn't deserve it. You get mm -hmm. So you just really have to be diplomatic about it. It does not mean the number of years, maybe your husband with the number of years you've been married to him or anything. It does not mean anything. Do you know, funny enough, from what I've learned and some videos I have made, I'll put in link in the description box. I've told you from my experience. There are some guys that they will have your time. If you want them to do anything for you, they'll be available for you. But money, they'll never drop. Whereas they will be giving that girl that money. So don't come and fall for the guy did not have money and everything. If he did not have money, buy what is in, within the range of what he has ever spent for you. Don't go overboard. Unless maybe you able to get one contract. Uh -huh, one contract of multi-millionaire. Uh -huh, that kind of thing. But if it's that he's just there to just encourage you to just ginger you with mouth. And see, just go and buy wine for him or alcohol. Uh -huh. So for category two, uh, sorry, theory, those ones that they are just bed warmers. That one and alcohol, you can just buy those ones for him. At night, you could use it. <laughs> you see that it's useful for both of you. So when you are gifting gifts, if you share to somebody, you have something, this thing is, you have to use your things. You have to use your things. Hmm. Most times when you are in love, we don't used to think, we don't used to use our things. You get. So when break, um, when the guy now break up or break up happen, until now stop being, oh, after everything I give you. Those are some girls who go to some guy's house, I'm breaking this one, breaking that one, breaking TV. My dear, you don't need it. If you do not give, what can you, you cannot break what you do not give now. If I know there is only one that I gave you, and that one, we, we had it together, and we used it together, what did I want to break? So you have to use your head, if you are in a relationship. So the next on our list, on the category, is hobbies. So guys, they actually have different hobbies and everything. You know, I've actually mentioned the gift already for hobbies. We have um um guys that actually like music. So for a guy that actually like music, you can get him some like headphone. You know those original sophisticated headphone. Though the original sophisticated headphone is depending on the level of category the guy is. If it's all these guys that they are just there, buy him five hundred naira headphone in the traffic, so that after two months the thing is boy, buy has finished. If it's so, when you actually go to where you buy it, they will tell you this one is for this, this one is for this. So, if it's all those ones that they mean so much to your life, those guys that actually mean so much to your life and they actually like music, get them original ding ding. It's from that when you put in your ear like this, you really eat there again, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Get them so depending. So, just use your sense, even if you buy the traffic one for the guy and it felt like oh, you bought the fake one for me. Ah, see, the one I wanted to buy. That you were there, they sold it to that you waited, 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 wait, you don't say anything that this one going it was like the last one there. Use your mouth, why not? Because trust me, in the next two or three months, they will have you breakfast so that you don't come and be crying and say, Uh huh, after everything I gave him. Married people, they drop breakfast. This is it. I'm not wishing you bad, you know. I know some people will be like, I'll not be served breakfast in Jesus' name. Those people, where they serve breakfast, do they have two heads? Do they have two heads or do they offend God specially? So, in whatever you are doing. Use your head, use your brain. So next one is maybe if your guy actually likes um something like cinematic movies, something like um maybe probably is actually a YouTuber, so you can get him like camera or drones. Camera or drones is very very expensive, extremely expensive. So if you'll be getting for any guy, you should be a guy that is actually in category one, and that category one means he has spent a lot of money on you. I can understand him. You don't go and get camera because somebody they warm your bed do. Hmm. And that girl will see him to be warming his bed after he be shouting, mm, they break my heart. Use your head. Even if you get camera for him, you can buy all those Sony everything two five for him. So another one on our list is somebody that likes music. You can actually get him um MP3 player. Maybe somebody like 
that means instead of that M for you can get him MBTV player. Maybe those ones they use two two five. Go on Konga, Jumia, you will see them two five, TV five, one five seven. You will see after two months it will spoil. That don't finish. Now what you deserve with that? So it may not be like saying I make sure to get it in red color or blue. So it's not be as if don't you give him gifts? You give him gifts. Gifts now gifts. So next on our list is maybe a guy that actually likes watching football and all of that. You can actually give him TV. Or a guy that just like watching TV, you can give him TV. Before you give somebody TV, <laughs> you know now, the guy if or don't make so 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 much money <laughs> to your life. To your life. So that I'll not just sit down, I'll be on Instagram and say, uh one girl came to carry TV in a boyfriend's house or came to break TV because she bought it for the guy. I'm waiting they cost and be that too. Person you never marry, you don't they give time. Even if the person don't marry, you say, ah, well, I'm having gifts in them because you see all these men out there. You see all these men out there. So next is sports, sports loving guys. There are some guys that just like sports. You know, like say say Manchester, Man U, that they are so passionate about their sport. Like there's no how their club will be playing. Manchester Man is hey man you spend today. All those guys that they cannot miss sports for anything. Can you get them their favorite club Jesse? Manchester Man U Liverpool or those Jesse, you know. And again, you know that Jesse has great. We have the original Jesse, we have the medium original, we have the fake one. So just categorize on, on that the division of guys that are giving you. So if you know your guy is all those number one. Giving you the meaning to your life, getting original Jesse. If it's those number two that just give them according to what they are worth. Don't give them more than their words. So next is um TV or aprons. Sorry, next is um aprons or kitchen tools. There are actually some guys that actually enjoy cooking. Like I've met some of them. There are some guys that really enjoy cooking. Like the fact that you even know how to cook is as if that you just sit down and just like there are some guys that really enjoy cooking, they love cooking. So you can actually get them kitchen tools, kitchen wares, kitchen anything, pot, anything. You can even get them a prom. Or probably a guy does not know how to cook and you actually want him to know how to cook to enjoy cooking. You can actually get them those things. And like I said, depending on the life name level of category that he is, if it's all those ones that they are either category one or category two. Don't bother yourself teaching them how to cook because once they learn how to cook and it's happy breakfast, you're just gonna be giving that skills to another girl. But don't think like that, Sha. Just do your own for God. Just do your own for God. So next on our list is um, vacation. There are some guys that just enjoy traveling. They like going up and down and everything. So you can actually um, give him like a few flight tickets. Or just spoil him to any country of choice. You can even take him to Benin Republic, to Canada, to anywhere, to any vacation, to Maldives, to Mauritius, to all these vacation places. So if it's all those ones that they are never category one or category two, if you stay in Lagos, just take him to Ibado. Or if you stay in Ibado, just take him to even Kaduna or something. Not even Kaduna service too. Just take him to even on those dates where they don't like get lights. <laughs> Maybe it's category two, you can take from Lagos to Abuja. Even if you don't have money for international, you can just move from under city. Even if you cannot move from under city, you can stay within the city and just book a hotel and just have fun, you know. So, next on our list is, so next category is need. This one is what they actually need. Like when you actually see a guy, when you're with a guy, um, could be your colleague, you're this, you know that, okay, this person needs this thing. Number one on our list is perfume. You don't want to do this thing. There's some guys that the whole dude that is oozing from their body, and that's why I said it's not limited to somebody that has mutual destiny. So, if you have a guy, a male friend, or a male anything that has body odor, this is the time to give use time and just give them the odor and perfume. You just tell them your vow gift, and I'll be happy if you actually use it, like to just know how it's made. Just use cup for them. So, if you have a guy or a Boyfriend or anybody, even if it's female, that you know that they have put you to put you to want and perfume for them. This is the time to just use cope and just buy it for them. They will think you are doing that. You just use red paper and wrap it. They will think you are doing that. They will not know that. There is this title. So, next on our list is um sunglasses. Hmm. Most guys actually like sunglasses. Those 
they don't wear it but most guys they really like sunglasses so depending on the shape of the face you can just get like a meaningful sunglasses for them or you can just take the guy out and just see but there's this one that is actually like unisex that fits all guys some guys as sunglasses and if your guy does not like it you can actually get him on i this thing there are some guys that are short-sighted but most times it's always guys that is short-sighted I don't, really, I don't know she had the painting but guys actually used to like a pair of sunglasses this to make them look bigger um, then next on our list is grooming kids especially guys with pairs um so almost all my exes i've always dated guys with pairs so you just like be touching their baby that kind of thing so you see all those guys that used to have pairs all those fresh pairs i'm not talking about this one that they will be one baby yeah they will be one year they will be one year those that you don't need to get them to make it. So I'm talking about real beds, man. Those ones that, uh uh, you know, so you know it's how you talk now. All those tall dark and on that are bed gang. You got me? Mm -hmm. you can actually just get them to make it. You um, can get them online. You can get them anywhere. So those ones, they will just use to groom their distance. As I told you, depending on the category the guy falls into. If the guy is so this distant, just get him scissors. Then next on our list is wallets. Hey, wallet cannot be underestimated. In fact, it's, it's just almost like the number one thing. Almost every guy needs a wallet. If you check most guys, aside those rich, even with those rich ones, tell them to show you their wallet. Is either the thing has half mark or this thing. Wallet is one thing. Some do not even have wallet, they'll just pack it. And you know, funny enough, most of them used to have a lot of ATM cards. And I'll be like, please, uh, are you doing your what you're planning to do? They have a lot of ATM cards. Their wallet, you cannot even analyze it. So most guys, they don't really have good wallet. So this is actually an opportunity for you to get good wallet. I presume you'll be buying good um, wallet for them. Make sure you buy real leather wallet for them. But like I said, depending on the division of category that they fall into if an original guy getting new leather wallets that he can use for long and trust me if you buy that wallet for the guy guys they know how to use things even wallets you will use it for like you will use it like and you will appreciate it so much like so so much you can even appreciate more than ps5 said because it's something like you'll be taking everywhere he is like when you want to pay we'll just bring out his wallet looking at that wallet everything it's just like you having him i'll be having you having you in his mind forever wallet can never be in that and when you're getting the wallet make sure it's all those ones that ask so many space for card like they have a lot of spaces for atm card for id card for any card there are so many i'll put attaching a picture like make sure they have so many spaces for card trust me even if you don't have money for anything get wallets the but like they are really going to appreciate it but just make sure it's original wallet even if just make sure that it has a lot of don't just get random but make sure it has a lot of spaces for atm card and you can get it online too next on our list is wristwatch oh my goodness wristwatch too cannot be underestimated or well, have some guys that normally really do not just like it naturally even if you buy it for them they will not wait that kind of thing so but no matter how shy if it gets for them and it's something that they really like and sure if it's original you find them wearing it flaunting it and everything like most times every time this watch actually is to look good on guys especially those tall dark and handsome guys like what they just <laughs> so i actually have a video i'll put in the link in the description box where i actually went shopping to get um this watch to get this watch for my boyfriend now extra that we met online then i did meet my boyfriend online so i'll put in the link in the description box and why i did not get it was because I wanted to buy it. The normal thing I would have bought that wristwatch. But I asked myself, what are these guys doing for me? I don't lie. This is like one of those exes that are very, very meaningful to my life. In fact, I told you guys now, even with my relationship, this thing, things he did for me, and even this fridge behind you, was when I bought it for me, we actually shared. But at then, we just met newly. So he had sent me money. Sent, when I wanted to buy my kitchen stuff, he sent me like 30k. And then the visitor she wanted to buy was 30k. I was like, ah, is it 30k? Am I returning his money? And again, I was flying to go meet him. 
and again i was actually flying to lagos from where to go meet him so the deal was you know it's just a banker so we tried to share the money so i'll pay for go we pay for come so if i buy this was 30k flight ticket 30k uh -uh. i'm spending 60k and he am he has spent only 30k on me go balance that kind of thing so that was the only reason i did not get it so i was like let me just get there let me just see face let me just see face if he deserve it and yes he actually deserve it and he actually deserve much more much more even if we are excess now he deserve it and funny enough he actually gave me my money back for the one that i used to come and then it was then that covid happened so i could not fly I had to go by road. It wasn't like give me the money for the road. So I have extra money to myself. But last night, did I buy the wristwatch? No, it's not by the wristwatch because we started having issues. And when we started having issues, if you see what I was saying, thank you, thank you a lot. Thank you, Lord. But I was like, I think I bought it. I bought this guy this torch now. Is this how oh my days? Thank you, Jesus. That is what I'm telling you. Use your head. No matter you, you guys saw that video where I was happy, where I was hyper. Get me to my hand like very pink. I wanted to buy it. It was what the one of my friends actually followed me. I was almost buying that resource. So it was even the one that said, Hmm, hey, we see you never meet. Go buy on something of 30k. Was it 30 or 40k? But I was like, ah, this guy has been good now. He has been kidding. He sent me money even without seeing me. That kind of thing. So like, you for wait me, you see him first now. Even I don't need to think. I was like, hmm. Come back, Joe. And then we started having an issue. Not even cheating or this, but you know, this normal issue like that kind of thing. I was like, uh uh. Thank you a lot. That was how I sent my 40,000 now. Ah, because I could not sleep well for night. I could just let him come. And that's why it was kind of easy for me to somehow move on. So, why is always hard for girls to actually move on for hard ways? Because you've invested a lot into it. So, if you want to invest, allow the guy to invest. You say you do small invest so that the investment in will be the same. Mm -mm, same, but if he has invested 100%, he will just invest like 2%. So that if you break up, now he will lose pass. You don't understand. Even if you do 100 million abortion for him, then he will still lose. So that was what saved me. Oh, hmm. it's a happy I am. Eh? Hmm. Oh my goodness. But I didn't get him this watch. I actually get him MP3 player, and that was why I included it because I noticed um he likes playing music. He likes music and everything. And I had one MP3 player, so he used to connect his TV to my. So I noticed he like I me. Mean, I cannot drop my MP. So I actually just ordered another MP for him. But the MP did not cost as much as it was never up to ten thousand. So I actually got in that MP because so it's not be like uh uh this guy just did something for me and I did not do anything for him. and again these slippers I'm currently wearing just with that um I got it for him because he doesn't like wearing palm, he wears shoes all the time. I know these guys that uh, who do you wear shoes? They've got to spray to a shoe guy, guys wear the shoe like doesn't like wearing shoe. I don't know, maybe because I don't know he, he's tall, so his leg is Kind of, you have to feel like if you wear sh um, palm, it's not look good on it. People making just of it. I was trying to tell him, embrace yourself, guy. Nobody, they, this thing, that you don't feel comfortable wearing shoes. How can you wear shoes up and down? Then your leg will be smelling. That kind of, I was trying to ginger him. So I actually forced him to the market to go and buy this thing. This guy not collect them. Hey, Jesus. And that was what started our big order. Hey, so you can give something. I cannot give something. Uh, that's what I'm wearing now. And I'm actually grateful to God. I actually did not collect it because no, the slippers is useful. Pay it, son. I'm thankful to God that it's not collected. It. It's useful for me. So recently we even talked. We talked recently and then we were still trying to reminisce on that past in that focus that I was when I bought um slippers and I don't collect. I was like, ah, thank you for not collecting because and then I asked snaps my legs in that. That's what I'm going to wear. Hey, hey, I said this. This battery. <laughs> If everybody come to me and say, ah, this is your decision, you want to take it, if I was you. So here you see. Hmm. You see, you have to use your head in gift. I was so happy. But at least I gave him MP TV. And I cooked. See, it's a win win for everybody. So, anyways. Next on our list is um leather jacket. So most times, regardless of um this thing, clothing outfit, guys really like leather jacket. I'm talking about the original leather jacket, not the one that you wear and wash and the thing will now pillow. You like 
leather jacket so you can just get them leather jackets and i sell a car jacket i don't think you can get them is built guys most guys they are built i don't understand it's just 0.1 percent of guys population that their belt is meaningful so it will be as if you want to join it together and that kind of thing see if you don't have most times all these belts that they sell um in the boutique they are not always original go to um bend down select tell them you want to buy a belt the one i use currently that's where i bought it from they have very strong leather chewy belts when like when you draw it, you're gonna say yes, this one are original belt. When you buy it, you can just use um cloth and soap to just wipe piece of paper from on it, hold it like this, wrap it. Nobody will know that it's bent down select. Because what you can they will just say belt for you, 30,000 you're not even sure that the team will not start branding um this thing. So if you want to buy belt, I will actually advise you actually go to bend down select and carry the original one. Strong leather one, we'll if you wear it like this, uh-huh. So next on our list is bag or backpack. So many guys now have backpack, or you don't have nice backpack, that kind of thing. So if you see where they're putting their laptop bags, yeah, okay. Chulera bagging. Chulera bagging. So you can get them very nice, sexy um backpack for laptop, for their documents. Especially if it's an office person, their document like that. So another thing you can actually get them is clothing. Normal clothes, t-shirts. And you can just do normal this thing for them. Most guys, God, I don't know why you're doing me like this. I don't know. God knows that men like fashion, but all the guys that men used to meet, they always have fashion people. People that they used to do fashion, or maybe they used to do, but they don't have a lot of clothes. So most times, almost all my exes, I was just have bought clothes for them. It's not as if I'm just saying it to this thing. They are okay the way they are, but I just feel like mm -mm, this is what I want to be just that kind of thing. So most guys. They just feel like guys know they get clothes, that kind of thing. So you can just buy, buy them a couple of round neck, maybe TV round neck, long sleeve, and then jean to just do this thing. So some, some guys can even have clothes, but you see that they are shirt and this thing, they will just keep repeating it. They don't have come to the life of open in man she mm, I've worn this one today, I don't want to wear it now. <laughs> so aside that, the job just feel the need, or maybe some guys do not just really know how to navigate how to go for clothes shopping so you can actually just help them and just buy clothes for them so if they are depending on the category you can buy as a cat shirt or this thing two five but if it's all those guys that you don't know where they fall to they are not useful they are not useless hmm? go to abba market you can buy all those shirts for five hundred two five five hundred for them Another one is shoes. So next on our list is shoes. Hmm, shoes cannot be understood the most times. Most guys don't have shoes. So you can get shoes for them, you can get sneakers, like depending, like they really like it and trust me, they'll wear it for a very long time, very, very long time. But so don't get white for them. White is good though for persuasive savvy user. But in the most guys, they not come to life of but if they appreciate each other, watch it take care of it so you can actually get um them sneakers and can get them shoe depending if it's an office person like my ex boyfriend that is actually a banker and get some shoe that kind that's what i wanted to get him in share but i didn't know his size and i didn't want to ask him so he would not have an idea i wanted to actually gift him something okay the next on our list is gifting yourself to him you like the number one gift you can actually gift anybody is you yourself your attention and your real love it doesn't have to be materialistic it's not everybody that actually appreciate um, materialistic gifts somebody like me mm. not everyone appreciates um, materialistic gifts some people just want you they want your attention they want you like to just spend some time with them to just have fun together so sometimes it's not about you just gifting and everything like maybe if you're the type that used to argue and fight and this thing on this very special day don't say anything just be gentle okay? just be kind just be honest just give him peace of mind then after that like this bank just start your way with ah and to buy me on this one good if you come show him that mm -hmm. then the next valley again you become a gentle okay because relationship we know gets bad boss <laughs> it's boring 
guys, I'm not telling you to be a troublesome person. You know. At times, you just have to look for trouble at times because these guys, they like peace of mind. I don't know. They like, oh, we'll be civil. I'll be with you. We'll be peaceful. I don't understand. Mm, you just train small fights. Don't like fight. Like small arguments. Like small. Share you. Sweetie, no, no. Just say it. Ah, how will you be inside the answer? All of you will keep quiet. No argument. No, this thing. Ah, why did you put this thing here? Ah, you know, so. Mm, just tell me sorry. I think it's, a guy telling me sorry, he used to make me feel. You get. Ah, but without value, just be gentle. Let him just be so far. Ah, this is how you don't talk today. You see, ah, I don't change you. God, don't enter me. I'm not a good kid. February 14, like this. You tie your way. Change your cup. Change your vibe. I'm not saying you should be a not girl because if they go and say, eh, they serve you big class because you are too you are nagging. Don't mind them. Every girl nags. It's not about nagging, it's about you trying to say what you want in a relationship. I'm not saying you should just nag on flimsy things on anything, but you know those troublemaker things that is sex is like things like when you've left this apartment, when you're not together, or maybe when you guys have a fight, two things that you just sit down, just ha, I just miss this girl, wahala. Eh, hey, I mean wahala, I don't mean all this eated argument. Mm -mm. So most times, when my friends that will split apart, or even my ex, when we talk, just ha, my, I miss your wahala. I say, ha, I miss my wahala. They say that I'm a troublesome girl. Why are you missing my wahala? Mm -hmm. This type of wahala, like, just to stress them, make them stand up to go and close the door, stand up to do this. So, all this kind of wahala, mm -hmm. not like giving them stress mentally. So next, now this is phone. So sometimes, most times, most guys did not actually upgrade their phone, so you can actually get them a phone. I have an ex that actually give them phone. It was not even my ex; it's just my friend. You follow me on Instagram, you remember. So at the time, I got him an iPhone eight. Please, nobody should say that I'm saying what I give to somebody. Bikini, bikini, please. If it's easy, do it. If it's easy, do it. So I gifted him a new iPhone 8. This guy was just like everything to me. Like when I was in medical school, he like, he helped him. He's always encouraging me, motivating me. Even things he did not achieve, he's always pushing me to achieve it. Like that's why I made that example. Like it was like more than all in all. It was my friend, my best friend, my boyfriend, my... Ah! Jasper. Yeah. It was, it was just like the sweetest... Like, okay, one of the sweetest guys I've ever met. So I got him an iPhone 8. Like, that was after two years we met or we've known each other. Like, that guy really deserved everything. Even after I left church, I was on the to send my load, collect my tuition fee from my school. And that guy is just, it's just, it's just, it's just. There's some guys that you just date, and you just know that this one say, when you see each other, you still greet each other. Not all those ones that you start shaping for each other. I'm not sure if they have to say that we are shaping for each other, though. Is it blowing out? So next on list is skincare. So there are some guys that they don't actually know about skincare. They just beat and everything. Their skin, but funny enough, most guys, their skin looks the best. The most is we that we used to do all these fine get fine get things, and our skin still look this thing. So you can actually get skincare for him or any other thing. So next is food. So if you don't have money for gifts and everything, you can just enter the kitchen, prepare a very nice meal. Even if you can't prepare food, you can just order food for him or just take him out when he did that and just have nice time and just everybody is happy. So um, if you feel like the guy in your life did not even deserve any of this, just dash him tissue paper. Imperial letter, locks, joy. Put this mini tick, have you given Bible and pencil? Or even a for paper. So let me actually know in the comment section the highest thing you've given a guy. Um, how many years you've actually known each other before you give him a guy? What was the gift inspiration? Why did you give him? And then are you guys still together? Um, and are you guys still together? Do you actually regret gifting him that gift? Let me know in the comment section below. So far, this will bring us to the end of today's video. Thanks for watching, and let me know. Let me know which one actually falls into your budget, which one you're actually giving your loved ones this foul season or this foul time. So, so guys, if you like this video, 
Thanks for watching. Uh, see you in the next video. Please make sure to click the subscribe button. So guys, before the vow ends, make sure to watch my video on Ashidemi's Medi where I talked about five ways to calculate your save period. I'm sure that most of you now during vow time you actually want to do that thing without this thing. So make sure to know you're actually on your safe period or not. And aside um, C D preventing um pregnancy, that she helps to prevent STDI. So make sure to use your head. Don't just say because vow 14, hmm. These STDs are everywhere, and you know these guys are not to be trusted. So make sure you're very much protected. So guys, thanks for watching today's episode with me, and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe button. My next video. Bye.